Hi, I'm Catherine of GameCast.net and I'm about to, well, I'm going to show you an unboxing of all the contents, I suppose, of the Alan Wake Collector's Edition for PC. Um, so I, I had already purchased the Alan Wake Limited Collector's Edition for 360, or Xbox 360, um, but I wanted to pick this one up too because it's got some extra stuff inside it, which I will show you right now. Um, it had not a huge, um, it didn't have a huge retail price. Uh, I think it was about 35, 45 pounds. Um, depending on where you bought it from though. So like I got it off Amazon and it ended up being about 25 pounds in the end, which for the collection edition isn't bad considering the limited edition was slightly cheaper, had less stuff in and had a closer price to how much I paid for this. So uh, it's been released by Nordic Games as you can see here. So it's not been published by Microsoft. The box it comes in is a really kind of strong, hard box. Um, and this is just, all of this is just like a little sleeve around it, which as you can see there, just comes off. And it's got the same image as that. Although, to be fair, the, uh, the, well, the, the colouring on that is, it looks more like Alan Wake, as in the kind of colour palette they have, um, whereas this one's a bit darker. Hard to see. Um, so this, as usual, it doesn't really say the contents of it, which is a bit hard, odd for a collector's edition. Uh, but of course, it has the specs with it being a PC game. So there's that. Comes with that. Um, sadly, of course, that's the kind of thing that gets absolutely hammered. So this is quite nice. Remedy logo, Nordic Games. This is Alan Wake collector's edition on the side. It's nice and compact, unlike the Alan Wake 360 one, which is quite large. Uh, so this opens out, and at first I thought, okay, pull it out, and it's like, you don't pull it out. Um, so similar in a way to that uh, 360 Alan Wake one, the contents come out, so they kind of slide out, and then this top bit here houses the discs, well, most of the discs. So you've got the game disc, the limited edition disc there, then bonus DVD one, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack has different tracks on it, well, some different tracks on it than the... Alan Wake uh, 360 collection soundtrack um, and nicely this one actually has a track listing on it which the the Xbox 360 one didn't uh, so as you can see here when it focuses there you go there's the track listings it's got 13 tracks on it um, some on on the Xbox 360 soundtrack and some 360 soundtrack songs on on this soundtrack um, so it's a bit odd that they've gone and done that I mean, some of them say they're like Tom the Driver says Quackshishin exclusive. However, Tom the Driver was also on the sorry Driver Diver. The, the well, I won't spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it. I'm like um, kind of I guess the song to do with him. Uh, you do get that on the Quackshishin soundtrack for Xbox 360, which is why I guess it says Quackshishin exclusive, but it doesn't really make that much sense to why it still says that when you can get it on both Quackshishins. Anyway, uh, so you've got the bonus disc. The printing's really nice on the bonus disc. Um, and then you've got images in the background of each of the disc kind of pieces you can... That one's not really got anything. Um, but yeah, so that's where all bar one of the discs is housed because it was added last minute. So if I just close that, then if I just pull this or let it slide out, so there's the bits and bobs that all sit just in there. So I put this on the floor. So you get the Alan Wake files like you did with the Xbox 360 version. However, this isn't a hardback anymore. Uh, it's now a paperback. Um, I flicked through it on the, the Xbox 360 one, so I don't really need to show too much. Um, but it's, I, I believe it's the exact same print, it's just in a, um, a paperback form, which is horribly printed in black on one side, so it means it's going to have fingerprints all over it. So you have that, which is really nice. Then there's the manual for the game. Does it have a key somewhere? Post. Uh... Huh. There wasn't a key on there, was there? Maybe there's no serial key. Mm, there mustn't be. Unless there is somewhere else. 
Then you get the manual for the game, which is lovely and printed in full colour. Even has a little map of Bright Falls in it. If I find the English section, it's mainly got every other language in it. This is quite nice. Map. The area. Oh, it's really hard to show. It's just a manual, really, to be fair. Um, but it's nice because it's in full colour. Yeah, so that's really nice. It's nicely printed as well. Get that. And then these are like the, the bonus things, which is kind of why I bought it. I also bought it, of course, for the, the extra tracks on the soundtrack as well. Um, they last minute also added a second bonus disc, which is why it's in a sleeve. And the um, game case sadly wasn't made to have another disc in it. Um, but I've got some extra stuff. I know they put the the launch trailers, I believe, for the Signal and the Writer, the two pieces of DLC. Uh, I, I suppose I should also say the Alan Wake ver well, the version of Alan Wake on PC comes with both pieces of DLC with the game. Pieces of DLC being the best bits of Alan Wake, which you must play if you have not. Um, so firstly it comes with a poster. A little small. It'd be nice if it was a little bit bigger. Um, but it's got the Alan Wake logo on that side. And then we've got Mr. Alan Wake himself there. So it's quite nice. I suppose it's good that it's small because you don't need lots of wall space to put it up, but it is very, very tiny. Then you get, I suppose I'll show these next, get some stickers, which is really odd, because games don't really come with stickers these days. Uh, we got one for, is that Stucky's Diner? Oh, that's the gas station. Gas station to Mr. Alan Wake, Bright Falls, um, what's the word, billboard that they've got. One of his books, I believe. Yep. A sudden stop. And then there's a take in there and another Alan. So that's pretty cool. So a nice sheet of stickers. And then, a really cool thing, you get some postcards. And each one of them's different. All has its own little thing. <laughs> and two, oh, are all of them signed? No. Um, a few of them are signed by the lovely Alan Wake. Um, so we've got, the first one here is just saying how it's the home of the DFS. Greetings from Brightfall. Each one has, so you can actually use it, space for uh, address, stamp, and it's got a nice little Brightfall's logo there, how it's the most beautiful town in the heart of the Pacific, Pacific Northwest. Um, so we've got this one here. Then we've got this one signed by the lovely Mr. Alan Wake, which you may be able to see there. It's kind of hard to see on the dark. Then we got Lighthouse. Okay, you can see that Alan Wake there. Oh, the mine. As well as that looks like the psychiatrist house, I think. It might be, it might not be. Um, we just got another nice Bright Falls billboard. Another nice little Bright Falls one, just with lots of different locations. Same Lighthouse picture as the other one. Is that it? I think that was it, wasn't it? That was the first one. Yep. Uh, so you just get how many? Uh, two, six postcards, and that's kind of all you get. Um, there's no, there's nothing anywhere saying what exactly constitutes what what exactly is on the bonus discs. Um, you kind of have to read it on the internet. I haven't put them in myself. But I imagine they have most of the same stuff as. The 360 version, um, there's a history of Remedy, making of Alan Wake, all the trailers for, that were for promotional use, um, I believe that's it. Uh, I imagine, it's, I think it still has the commentary on it, so on the 360 version you could have commentary played throughout when you play the game, uh, similar to like how you can with films and stuff. Um, and yeah, you get the DLC with it. As I said, the DLC is the best bit. Alan Wake's an alright game. It's got a few flaws. I I did like, I played it when it first came out, got a little stuck and then left it for quite a few months. Um, and then I decided, no, I had to pick it up. And then I played the DLC and the DLC was amazing and then I couldn't wait for Signal the Writer. The Writer to come out? I think the Writer is the second one. Signal Writer. I think so. Um, I may be wrong. But they are the best bit. If you haven't played those, you should play them. If you bought it on Xbox 360, you do get the first piece of DLC for free. 
if you buy it on PC, you get both included in it anyway. And they are amazing, and it's only a shame that the rest of Alan Wake wasn't like it. Um, there's, of course, American Alan Wake's American Nightmare on Xbox Live Arcade now as well. I haven't played that yet, uh, mainly because I need some Microsoft points, um, and I haven't bought any. But, yeah. Alan Wake, Plague Edition on PC. Uh, it's nice. There isn't that much, there isn't a huge amount of difference with this. But if you enjoyed Alan Wake, um, this may be one for you. I'm wearing my Alan Wake hoodie. Yay. Um, I just actually happened to wear it today and then thought actually I'll do my unboxing when I get home. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really happy with that. It was very cheap. I believe you can probably pick it up almost as cheap on most websites still. Um, I don't believe it's sold out. And I'm not sure on if it was a worldwide release. It's available on Steam already anyway, um, but Nordic Games announced that they were releasing it, so perhaps they have released it outside of Europe. Um, not entirely sure. But it's very cool, well worth 25 quid. I would have paid 30 quid for it. Um, I believe my order was originally 30 pounds anyway. Um, but lovely, I will install it and play it on my PC and see how much better it looks on PC than on 360. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. My Mass Effect N7 PlayStation should hopefully be coming tomorrow. Um, Although I'm sure you've been watching Charlotte's Metal Gear uh, HD collection unboxing anyway. And Mass Effect will be next and then I will do a pick up, another pickups video soon because I've got some cool stuff that I picked up recently that was fairly cheap and just some cool stuff in general as well. Um, so I will catch you for my next video. Bye!